I think it's fair to say there's probably a consensus in this room that this country is not on the right path. I think that would probably be fair. Does anybody have an exception with that? Okay, the question is, how do we turn the country around? How do we get in the right spot? I'm, I'm a tea partier. Some people call us a tea bagger. Right? This last summer, I spent a lot of time, sometimes out in the rain, uh, usually with a poster, uh, trying to petition our government for some kind of redress to our grievances. If you want to. Uh, how did that work out for me? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have socialized health care yet. Yeah. yeah. Well, next week. <laughs> uh, it was a worthwhile effort. I think it shaped the debate. I think it was a good thing to do. Uh, but the problem is, and it's systematic in our, in our government today, is that our government is not listening to us. So, okay, we try to be nice. The next thing we have to do is go to the polls and defeat them. And that's my main motivation for, for running for this chair. Uh, I have a good deal of experience with the Tea Party. Other than that, I cannot confess to having a lot of experience with this group. But I can tell you what I do bring to the process, and that's enthusiasm. That's a heartfelt desire to turn this country around. And friends who feel the same way I do. I hear a lot in the papers. I hear a lot of internal discussion. All these tea power partiers are trying to take over our party. Not true. Not true. We're conservatives just like you are. We just heard in the presentation, the Republican Party isn't an, uh, an organization that you sign up for. What holds us together is our shared beliefs. And I believe in my heart we share the same beliefs. I believe the voters of this county and, and the members of this committee deserve multiple choices. You need to know from the people who want to run what they want to do, how they intend to do it. I'm not going to try to tell you all that tonight. I'm going to be around at every meeting, and I want to meet with each of you individually and, and share with you what my thoughts are. But I just felt it was important to offer myself up as a candidate, in addition to some very good people who I'm sure are going to also announce. I believe in, in uh, not doing personal attacks. I want to run a clean campaign on the issues. You know, friends, if we, if we don't pull together, we're fighting a well-organized, well-funded machine. And we have to be in the same boat, staring in the same direction, trying to accomplish the same goal. And that's what my candidacy is about. I want to make sure that the Tea Party, the Republican Party, comes together. I realize they are not a partisan outfit. I'm sure there will be some people in the Tea Party who will not vote for me. And that's fine. I like people of independent mind. You know, I want people to vote their conscience. If they really don't think I'm the best one for that job, they shouldn't vote for me. There's two or three minutes. Oh, I didn't know there's left. You want to know anything else? Talk to me later. Got the stuff there. for those of you who don't. Uh, I moved to Ellis County about two years ago. Uh, just to give you a little bit of background about my, my education and my professional career, uh, I went to Purdue University, got a BS in electrical computer engineering, moved to Texas in 1996. I worked in Richardson for a couple telecom companies. Uh, then I went to law school. Uh, while I was living up there in Plano, I drove over to Fort Worth to go to law school. It was long days. I worked during the day. I went to law school at night. But it's the best decision I ever made. I honestly believe that for those who don't appreciate attorneys, I can, I can understand that. Uh, one, one, of, one of the things that I, that I appreciate about the law is the ability to articulate an argument. And that's what I want to do for you in the coming months on this, this campaign. Uh, 
I live here in Ellis County with my wife and our young daughter. There's a number of things that I see this party can do. And Ash talked about some of the steps. You make small incremental steps to get to a long-term goal. And I believe the people who've been involved in this party over the past six, eight months have seen some small incremental steps that we've made. And I think that they're very positive steps. And I think they're positive steps that can turn to positive results in, in March and then again in November. Now those who, who know the county, the demographics of the county, know that it's a very conservative county. They know that two out of every three votes is cast for a Republican candidate. We can't take that for granted. It's always going to be that way. We need to make sure that we have conservative Republicans running for our offices. And that's what the, the county party chairman does. He gets elected in March to get, a, to get Republicans elected in November. And that's what I want to do for this county. Uh, I've had an opportunity to talk to many of the precinct chairs one-on-one, -on -one, and for those of you that I haven't talked to, I definitely will. And I'm going to ask for your support, and I think that over the coming months, you're going to see some ideas that I've picked up from Dallas County GOP, from Collin County, from Tarrant County GOPs. We don't need to have all the ideas. We can pull some ideas from other counties, and that's what I bring to the table. I bring some other ideas, and I'm very good at coordinating and getting those ideas done. So thank you for your time tonight, and I appreciate your vote, and I'm going to I look forward to getting these things done and, and a productive 2010. Thank you very much. Thank you.